Suez. 13.8 kilometers at 8.1% average gradient. The Abid was really steals the show at any edition of the Tour de France, especially a stage summit finish. It is climbed to the eponymous ski station first entered the fray in the 1952 tour, where the great Fasto copy won the inaugural ascent. Since then, this has become the climb of the tour. It attracts hordes of spectators who camp out days, even weeks, in advance to get prime spots. They crowd the road as the top riders pass through, lighting flares and making other questionable choices. Fortunately, security has gotten a bit tighter than it was back in 1999 when an amateur photographer knocked Gisa Biguarini off his bike. The Italian won anyway, that day on all but was. The gradient of all was is remarkably consistent for the first 12 kilometers, never straying much from a range of 8 to 10 percent. After a mild incline for 500 meters the next 12 kilometers average 8.7 percent before easing off to 3.6 percent for the final 1.8 kilometers. 78 percent, 10.8 kilometers, of the climb is at grades 5 to 10 percent. The steepest 500 meters is 11% and there are two continuous kilometers that average 10.5%. 10% of the ascent average is greater than or equal to 10% grade. With its 21 switchback bends, each named after a former winner, or winners, on the mountain, every part of the climb is iconic from the way it kicks straight up from flat to 10% at the bottom, to the astonishing views of Berg Doyesons below. So many important moments in the history of the tour have happened on all but was. Fausto Coppi was the first rider to win on the Alba in 1952 at the end of the Mammoth 266 km stage starting in Lausanne. Since then, the list of winners on the climb reads like a who's who of cycling and the name of the stage winners are immortalized on signs at each of the 21 bends. Though neither the steepest nor the longest climb in any Tour de France, the Alba was is, by some distance, the most famous of the many mountains that have featured in the race over the years. In fact, the vast majority of the record ascents of Alba was have come with large question marks, i.e., doping. Based on the 13.8 kilometers distance climb the 36 minutes and 50 seconds recorded by Marco Pontani in 1995 is the fastest ascent. In 2022 the world cyclocross and Olympic mountain bike champion Tom Pitcock, riding his first tour, rode away on the Galavier descent, before going solo from a break including four-time tour winner Chris Froome with around 8 kilometers to go and one on the Alba. The youngest winner on the Alba in Tour de France history.